Now, it's been over two weeks since Meghan Markle launched her lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard. What? On Instagram, a name so pretentiously stupid, one wonders whether she just typed fancy name for lifestyle website into ChatGBT. She launched the site alongside a soft glamour video showing her picking flowers and walking around her estate in a big black ball gown, as you do. But since then... Nothing. Crickets. Just a few leaks from trademark applications that suggest this is going to be another celebrity wellness site like Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop or Kourtney Kardashian's Poosh. Royal reporter Kinsey Schofield joins me now. Kinsey, what can we expect from American Riviera Orchard? Is it a... I can't think of a more pretentious name, but are we going to have another Kardashian or Gwyneth Paltrow-style lifestyle wellness website? Well, I'd rather um, I'd rather compare it to Chrissy Teigen. Remember, they were both on Deal or No Deal together. Oh uh, no! And, they, oh, <laughs> and they're God. both very woke characters. No. Um, but I, I love that you use the word pretentious because that was my first instinct. I mean, this is a woman that wrote Congress. Remember, over you know, um, she wanted I think it was extended parental leave. She wrote Congress telling them that she ate at the four ninety nine salad bar at Sizzler, which completely contradicted the Instagram posts that she had posted years ago about how her dad would take her to all of these upscale Beverly Hills delis after dance class. You know, it, it you know, it always just depends on who she's in front of, though, the way she talks about her past. Um, but yeah, the American Riviera Orchard, uh, someone compared the name to a senior living facility. She's definitely trying to, I guess, plant herself, really plant herself in this Santa Barbara community. Um, which is interesting because she's only lived there four years. It's like being a duchess for only 19 months and insisting people still refer to you as one. <laughs> now to King Charles. He's made uh, his first outing since its cancer diagnosis, appearing at the Easter Sunday service at St George's Chapel in Windsor. He appeared, Kinsey, quite uh, well, happy. Do you, we know much about how his treatment is progressing and when he is expected to be back on full-time duties for the Royals. You know, he was shaking hands with people at this Easter event, which did surprise me because that was one of the things early on when we found out his, about his cancer that we knew would have to take a back seat uh, just, just because they wanted to continue to protect his health while his immune system might be jeopardized through some of this, these treatments. So I think the fact that he was shaking hands is a very good sign if we look at um, the last few months of, of his treatments uh, for a, a mystery cancer. Additionally, when one individual said, get well soon, he jokingly replied, I'm doing my best. So obviously he's in very good spirits. I do think we can expect to see him at Royal Ascot. I do believe, you know, he's doing everything in his power to to have a, a prominent, um, to, to have some sort of prominent role at Trooping the Color. Uh, so I think that it, it looks like he's on the up and up, but with everything going on with the Princess of Wales now, um, I know it was important to him to be out front and to show everyone things are going to be okay.